All right, what is up? It's TK Customs here. It's a beautiful freaking day today. And what I have here is my truck is ready for paint. So what this is, it's a fucking budget build fucking paint job restoration type. I'm going to show you today how to paint your car or truck with Rust-Oleum tractor paint and make it look pretty nice. Now, I'm not saying that you can use this uh, paint um, in place of better stuff because it's just rust oleo okay me personally i don't even fucking know how good it's gonna hold up all i know is i want a truck that is international harvester tractor red because i love that color look at this color look at this color i love this red okay and this red is going on this truck because the engine is an international harvester engine. You can see, kind of see in there. The 6.9 IDI. It looks like a 7.3, but that's only just parts of it. It's really a 6.9. I'm going to make it as badass as I care for it to be. You know, it's not going to be the coolest fucking thing in the world. Once we finished our paint job all the way and we let it dry and settle for a little bit. We'll go ahead and put some fender covers on and get to work on the engine so that we don't fuck up our paint job. You know what I mean? So, and the reason we, I want to do it that way is because you get dirt and grease all over like bare metal, you know, you don't know where that shit is. It's hard to wipe it off. You go spray your paint. It's going to look like fucking shit. So I'd rather get dirt and shit on the paint after it's done. And then be able to just wash it off and be fucking done with it. Because I just wiped it down with um, uh, alcohol. 91% alcohol. So let me show you what we're going to use today. These three products right here. That's all you need for a budget build that's going to look really nice. Rust-Oleum, farm implement, whatever color you want. I mean, you can even do this if you're painting a tractor too. You know, a tractor that you are going to use in the fields. I wouldn't say maybe a show tractor, but I'm not sure how well it's really going to hold up. You know what I mean? All I know is I'm trying to do it better than the last time. Because if you've seen my old videos with this truck, you know that it looked like fucking shit. I painted it black, okay? And I even made a video um, after I wrecked it the first time I wrecked it. I had to replace this fender, okay? And I was at school, in the school shop, painting this fender. And I even said in the video, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna mix the paint right, just so, I think I said that anyways, just so it'll match the rest of the truck. I'm gonna paint it to look like shit on purpose to match the rest of the truck. So now I am officially doing it a little bit better than I did before. And it's not gonna be perfect, but it's only a single cab, two wheel drive with a 6.9. I don't give a fuck. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix. I've seen a YouTube video of some guy using Rust-Oleum. He said, perfect Rust-Oleum mixture. And I tried that out and it turned out really nice, but I think we can do better. What I do is I fill this halfway with reducer and then I pour my paint in and then I fill it all the way up to the top again with hardener, okay? So that way, it'll kind of mix itself up. Actually, we might want to go ahead and put reducer, then hardener, then paint in. Because I feel like once you put that little layer of hardener on top, you go to stir it up, it just knocks it all back out. So, I mean, that's why I got a mess going on on, the, on my little uh, bench right here, my barrel. Yeah, but you, you do want to have a semi-clean workspace because you're gonna have a lot of stuff to mess with over here so you need a clean clean cup because if you have a dirty cup look at this a used cup you can't you can't fucking see these measurements through there you, you ain't gonna be able to do anything so we've got our air compressor up at 200 psi that's the max for this little air compressor you know like first things first okay we need to fucking plug plug our on here my fucking um filter thing or regulator 
and it's leaking already. It's gonna take a lot of PSI out. But um, this this uh, air compressor itself is internal. Like there's a regulator right here on this. You move that back and forth. There's your regulator. That's your gauge right there. But I'm also using this because it has a filter in it. So and then we plug in this hose to this and what we do we mix our paint throw with the paint in our gun and go fucking crazy now uh i have the truck outside i'm gonna do the roof first i want to reach the roof i gotta stand on the frame back here it'll fit in the garage it won't give me room to work underneath the ceiling so that's what we're gonna do so we got our red Usually I put the paint in first. I mean, no, I don't anymore. But so if you got a little bit of dirt in here, it don't really matter because we're going to use a strainer. Make two batches of this paint. Mix two of them up because our paint gun will hold two, two of these full cups here. So I'm going to take my reducer, take our reducer. And we're gonna fill it up to the number eight on this cup, which should be halfway uh, full. It only says 14 on here, but up all the way up to the top, that would be 16. And eight is half of 16. I'm gonna move the paint up out of the way, grab a reducer, Rust-Oleum specialty reducer. Um, I did try to use um, Rust-Oleum acetone and it worked the same, but I mean, well, not really, not the same, but this just works better, okay? But what we want to do is try to keep as much, like, spit and water out of your fucking mixture here, because that will go through the strainer. So we're going to go all the way up to the top with the paint. I think I went way too high with it. I was watching the paint and not the actual... The liquid level. And I'm just gonna like mix it up, make a mess, and then I'll put our reducer or our hardener in. But now, since I've learned from my mistakes, we're gonna do it semi right, okay? So. And we don't want too much hardener. That video said a third of a part of hardener. So. I mean, I don't, I don't, again, I don't have parts marked on my cup, so I'm just gonna. What is my paint gun? I had it, I put it together, I put it somewhere. I think it's in that over there. Yeah, it's over there. Mm. For this, for this part, I'm only gonna f take one batch of this paint and put it in the paint gun. You might want to clean it out. Let me show you how to clean it out thoroughly. All right, grab some acetone. And this is after I took the gun apart and thoroughly cleaned it with mineral spirits. We clean stuff with mineral spirits. Um, we clean everything with mineral spirits, like oil, oily, greasy shit. So we gotta get that out. Just pour a little bit in there. Hook up your air. Put my lid on, switch this around. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over here and paint, paint this cardboard. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just fucking, I'm cleaning out the gun while I'm adjusting it. And now it's empty. So what I'm just gonna do with the strainer, you take your gun, you put the strainer on, you pour your paint in. There you go. I want to use my right hand here. Keep your hose uh, off of the truck and now we move on to this other side. Try not to touch the body too much. There is gonna be some real tricky spots, but for the most part, we got it done. I'm just gonna use up the rest on the roof and then I'm gonna push the truck in the garage and uh, keep going. Looks really nice, I love that. Move 
grab a part that I don't really care what color it gets. To hold on to. Head over to the other side. And right here where I'm painting at, there's gonna be a sun visor right up on the roof here, so. But we still wanna do good. I'm calling the roof absolutely positively accomplished. I'm gonna do the back of the truck with this uh, paint. All right, I went ahead and I swept the floor, swept all the dust out, and then I brought my uh, garden hose in and I wet the floor down, all right? And uh, now, now what this is gonna do is gonna keep our dust on the floor and keep it out of our paint. Cause when we blow this paint gun, usually that dust will come up and get up in your paint job. Fuck that. We just gonna wet down the floor and uh, bring our truck in, mix our paint and get to fucking going on that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the door open. Uh, so when we mix a new batch of paint, usually we would use the same cup, but right now this cup has been sitting for like an hour, so we can't use it because we can't read it. So we're gonna use this cup and I'm gonna try to use only this cup because it's the last cup I have left. And uh, if I want more cups, I got to clean more cup, another cup. So. I don't really want to do that right now. I think we can get this done um, with what I got going on right now. But first, I will put in, um, I will find eight on this cup here. These cups came from Menards. So that's a hardware store in my area in the Midwest. If you don't have it, then you're not in the Midwest. But we're going to go up to eight on this with, um, reducer all right and then this paint is pretty tricky so watch it um go up dang that hurts my fucking finger dude you're gonna need some like gloves like not not cheap ass doctor rubber gloves but like good like concrete working gloves for this shit but Let's get our paint. Let me stir that some. Because <laughs> this shit's been sitting for a minute. We're going to watch the li the liquid level, okay? We're going to watch the liquid wet level rise instead of this paint. There we go. I wish I could show you how cool that is going on in there. A little bit of hardener. Good. Now we mix it. Grab a strainer here. I'm gonna put this in my gun. All right, and then I'm gonna make another batch and put that in the gun too. Cause this gun will hold two of these cups. So pour that in. But right now, we are going to spray. First, we're going to test out our spray pattern. Looks pretty nice. Going real slow. An overlap 50%. I'll call that done. Um, uh oh, I need to do this. I'm gonna get a clean rag and my alcohol. There's a lot of dust up there I need to get off. I don't understand why this kind of looks stupid. I mean, my hood came out really nice. This truck, it just didn't. Maybe when it dries, it will. I don't know. 
It looks a lot better than when I did it the first time, all right? That's the only thing I give a fuck about, honestly. Next time, we will do an even better job. Next, The next time this gets painted, maybe green, you know? Green or blue, I ain't sure yet. I'm leaning on green. And I think I'm gonna try out um, Duplicolor paint shop stuff, okay? And now, we are officially fucking done. Oh, that's it. We'll see you later. Go ahead, like, and subscribe, and tell me how I can improve my painting skills besides buying better paint, because, I mean, I like to improve, but to improve my quality of paint, I would have to improve my income. And uh, some people just can't do that, you know? So, this is a good alternative, I guess. Yep.